No. No one's mocking God. They're mocking you. You go now. Will you call me back? Yeah, I know that. Yeah, I know that. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sharon, and today we're going to be talking about the beauty community and the wonderful gift that keeps on giving Amanda Insing. I think that's how you pronounce her name, or most recently dubbed. Esther. Yesterday was crazy and disappointing and I wasn't going to touch on this topic because it felt a little bit out of place but given some of her responses and posts that she did on Twitter I felt compelled to share my opinion. So I do want to preface this by saying that I had absolutely no idea who Amanda was up until a week ago. I did want to share my opinion because I am someone who grew up with Christian values and while I don't practice my religion I do have respect for my Christian background and its beliefs. With that being said, I'm really interested in hearing your guys' thoughts and opinions. I will be sharing my opinion at the end of this video, but I do want to give you guys a little bit of a background or some context if you guys have absolutely no idea who I'm talking about. I do have some notes, so sorry if I'm looking down. That is why it's kind of a lengthy video. She is actually a beauty blogger or vlogger that started here on this platform in 2012. She has um, about a million subscribers here, and she also has about a million subscribers or followers, I should say on Instagram as well so she does have a pretty large audience she also graduated with a bachelor's degree uh, in political science and business administration and she has been involved in uh, scandals or controversies in the past um, her boyfriend I, I will not name him because I can't think of his name right now but he has also been involved in some controversy in the past as well and she was actually recently uh, outed I guess as being a Trump supporter so that all resulted in her gifting us this video. And while I won't sit here and dissect every single piece of this video, I did want to kind of touch on some brief highlights so that you guys can kind of get an idea of where her mentality is and her thought process in all of this. She opens the video by saying her goal has always been to bring light and positivity and to bring people to God. She uh, practices love and tolerance and equality for all, and she doesn't want to shame anyone for their vote. So I'll insert a clip of that. My goal on my platform is always always been to share love, light, positivity, and bring people to God. I've always been unapologetic in my beliefs. You know, I've always shared love, tolerance, and equality for all. And, and while I understand that everybody comes from different backgrounds, different life experiences that lead to different political views and beliefs, um, I don't think that we should sit here and belittle other people for having different opinions because it, it doesn't help anyone and it just leads to more division in my opinion. But anyway, she then proceeds to say she votes based on facts and policy and her Christian uh, beliefs that she educates herself but then proceeds to list TikTok videos, Instagram tiles, and Facebook links as viable sources. So... I'm, I'm, I'm confused. All the while simultaneously saying that people that voted for Trump voted because they like what he did for this country, they like uh, the policies that he's, in play, uh, he's brought on, and that he has brought peace to the Middle East. And the opposing party, I'm assuming she's talking about the Democrats, um, yeah, they, they voted based on hate. But again, she's not shaming anybody for having a different point of view. Moving on from that and going into the most recent, I guess, uh, dispute that she was involved in, um, she posted a barrage of hateful tweets and responses on Twitter yesterday, which I really feel like she's, she says she's Christian. And in my opinion, she's just, all she's doing is giving Christians a bad name. And it's not just her, there's other people that, that do this too, but today we're obviously focusing on her. She comes across as having a holier-than-thou attitude and like she's just belittling people that have a different or opposing view from her. So like just taking politics out of this completely and just that aside, just coming from a Christian point of view, she's 
she's wrong. And I don't want to make this like super religious, but I wanted to share a Bible verse because I really feel like this verse specifically embodies everything that a Christian should be. And it says, let no debt remain outstanding except the continuing debt to love one another. For whomever loves others has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and whatever other commandments there may be are all summed up in this one command. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Love does no harm to a neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfillment of the law. You know, obviously yesterday was, was very triggering to a lot of us. It was just crazy. And she proceeds to tweet, there's not enough popcorn in the world for what's about to happen. And then she posts a response right right below it saying, this is referring to the amount of corruption about to be revealed in our government. As usual, the left twists our words. So then Gabriel Zamora, which is a beauty guru here on the platform says, this is entertainment to you. I'm embarrassed for you. So her response is embarrassed for me. You're supporting the and the trying to take over the country. Go back to sucking up to Jeffrey so you can continue to have a career. You guys, this is a person that's preaching uh, being about love and always wanting to spread love and positivity on her platform, yet she's tweeting responses like this that don't demonstrate or um, show love show compassion. So Jackie Ina actually tweeted at um, Amanda Ensing yesterday and posted, defund Amanda Ensing. She had to post a response. So she said, no one is hated more than one who tells the truth. Question, did you ever end up paying your taxes? That, that tweet and that response to me just shows microaggression towards a black woman. There was this other tweet of uh, Garrett uh, tweeting, read the room, Esther. And she goes on to say, always mocking God. Everyone will have to answer to him one day. No, no one's mocking God. They're mocking you because you are acting holier than thou, like you're superior to everybody, like you are. Jesus, he loves you. You don't know first thing about love. I am filled with Christ's love. God, you are just jealous of my success in the Lord. This is not a weapon, you idiot. This is literally her. And no one is jealous of her success in the Lord. No one is. They're upset because she's coming. She's coming with hate and just not compassion. She's not doing what she, she's not doing what she's preaching. She, it, her her actions aren't aligning with what she's preaching and i think that's genuinely what everyone has a problem with it's disappointing to see someone with such large of an audience one million followers giving christians a bad name because it's people like this who really put christians in a negative light because our goal should always be to be kind, spread love and positivity. And we have her saying that she she really believes she was placed on this platform to be Esther, to stand against the crowd. And she's not doing that. You voted for Trump, great for you. That's your choice. You're free to do whatever you want, but don't come onto the platform and calling other people sheep because they have a different point of view than you. I hope that we can all remember that while we should hold people accountable, we should also lead with love. And I think that should be the most important thing always. But anyway, I am really curious to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on this topic. So please leave them in the comments below. Um, I don't know how else to end this video other than saying that if you lead with love, It'll probably end up a lot better than if you lead with hate. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye. You're gone.